just got me order delivered from Swiggy. I'm telling you guys, this Swiggy thing, this Swiggy thing is like a big, big, big addiction. Okay, so it says that if I see something good, I kind of buy it immediately, thinking that it's gonna come and get delivered soon, and it happens. So I'm really having trouble staying out of Swiggy and not delivering guys. Like, whew, she even shares had that problem. I, I'm not sure if he still has it, but uh, yeah, it's just so addictive. Okay. If you guys are addicted to Swiggy, comment down below and tell me what you guys do about it to stop your addiction and not order food from outside. So on. What is going on guys? So finally we are here in this gym. It's Lamp OMR and it is by far the best leg setup I've ever seen. Okay, you have, it's like a no bullshit leg room. So this gym is like, they have, it's two floors. They are downstairs. This, it's an upstairs leg room only for legs. So they have a nice quad rack and they have some ab machines and they have a lot of leg equipments. There's like a hammer, uh, hammer strength leg press. They have the kickbacks, leg press, extensions, uh, curls, adductors and abductors, hack squats. What more do you need to get a good physique? I know, right? And most of all, peace of mind. Look at this gym setup. It's like a warehouse gym setup. It's upstairs, no bullshit, no disturbance. I, I'm, I'm done with two sets now and I don't want to stop. It's like it's pushing me further, you know? So, I'm really happy with this. So, next set, I'm going to show you guys, give you guys little cues on how to do a squat and then get my set done. So I don't have the liberty to talk like this to you guys, so might as well make the most of it, right babe? Yep. Yep. So welcome to the video. Let's squat. So what you're seeing here is something called as a landmine squat. So basically you hold a barbell in front of you and then you squat, okay? So the good thing about this is if you guys are injured, if you have like a back pain, if you have a knee pain, this is a great way to start squatting. You can really load the place. You can go really heavy on this one. It doesn't put a lot of emphasis on your posterior chain. So yeah. Why are you doing this? Because I recently had a back injury. So I'm uh, in rehab and doing exercises that would put the least pressure on my spine. Does it work? Spine. Yes, I'm feeling great. Because I've, I've been doing a lot of core work and I'm just making sure I'm still working my muscles but I'm not like doing anything that would uh, you know put a lot of pressure on my lower back and also I'm in, I'm engaging my core more so that is really helping exactly yeah so a lot of see like I learned this no, recently awesome. I learned this myself recently and I'm being very honest with you all like this is this is underrated this is the root cause of all the injuries bracing your core I didn't know how like I thought I knew how to do it like a lot of us think that we know how to do it but it's not really the truth so when you do this, okay, I'm not like giving up some bullshit tips for you guys. This is some real shit. So think about it. So when, when I'm doing a landing and squat, okay, I'm gonna have a back injury. Which means I'm not supposed to load my spine, right? I need to keep my emphasis off my posterior chain. So what I do here is the plates are lowered front and I hold this place and I brace my core. Okay, so that doesn't mean rounding your back. You brace your core, you make your core tight and the weight directly falls on your core. So most of the load is taken care by your core rather than your back. So people who don't know how to brace, they kind of leave your abs free and then your core free and then everything goes to your lower back and your lower back comes into play, tries to make up for that and then you forget your back. So this helps, teaches you that. At the same time, you can, go, you can load really high on this one and it doesn't put a lot of emphasis at all. You can feel it when you're doing it. So here's tips with facts, evidence and muscle anatomy. Okay, so we're getting into a squat right now. So first tip when you go to a squat, hold your shoulder width, go inside, okay? Before you unrack the bar, you need to get under the bar. So here's what you do. Take a deep breath. Under the bar. Okay? You place yourself here and then you try to rip the floor apart. Okay, you squeeze your glutes, everything from the base below, you squeeze your glutes, you try to rip the floor apart with the glutes, that's how you engage your glutes. Then next step is engaging your core. Hold your core tight, then take a breath over it. And then unwrap the bar. Okay, I'm gonna do that.
new car today guys i have given my car to service so i'm all the way walking right now long time is actually started walking i got to wait for my cab right now i think it's almost here got to go hit a chest station at mazur garage for which i want to take you all na bro ஒன்னா <laughs> <laughs> So it's going to involve on how your lower back is functioning, how you're going to squat, how to squat to the right form, and how to not get injured and still squat. Okay. So it's very important. Listen up, and I'll see you all on the next clip. Okay, right, guys. So trying to wrap the video right here. So this is going to be the last clip of the video. But again, uh, this is going to be an elaboration to what I discussed in the beginning of the video, where we are doing some squats uh, and some landmine deadlift, landmine squats, and all that. So here's the thing, guys. Okay. no squatting deadlifting all these things can be either the best thing that ever happened to you or the worst thing that ever happened to you and trust me i mean trust me when i say this most of us are not doing the squats and the deadlifts right me like see basically i started uh, learning some new things in some new places and i came across a lot of things which actually kind of suggests that what i've been doing so so far is not exactly true for example you know when you take the breath in like when you when you when you hold your uh, core tight and when you like engage your core and then you squat that's something that is actually hard to do and most most of us most of us think that that we're doing it right but in turn we're doing it wrong so what happens is we don't actually engage our core and hence we have a lot of back pain again guys like we, we we focus so much on squatting full and uh, squatting parallel to the floor that we actually uh, neglect to find out that are we rounding our back or are we hyper extending our back and using our back or not so things like these focusing on things which uh, focusing on some things and not the entire picture is something that is actually trying to get you injured so make sure that when you squat when you're doing anything in the first place make sure all of these things are in motion so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make another video teaching you guys how to squat properly okay now again uh, i may i've always re- uh, refrained from making this video because i never thought that i fully knew how to squat and at least now i could say that i know 65 to 70% of it okay so we're going to i'm going to run you guys through how to find out your position of squat from leg placement how how wide apart are you supposed to keep how outwards are you supposed to keep how low are you supposed to go so all these things are different different for different people so i'm going to start to make a video so we're going to we're going to start off with squat and tell you guys how to actually start squatting and then how to improve your squat further to get heavier and heavier okay so give me a couple of videos on this so i'll just make the script for it and then i'll make the video properly so that i, I really want you guys to watch this and get it because this is going to be by far the most important video that i've made on my channel and i'm pretty sure you wouldn't have seen such a video okay uh that's one thing and second thing is that i also want to cover another quick topic immediately stretching i'll give you the science behind this in a in a more elaborate way but you know that in my videos previous i've told that it's always good to stretch post workout than to stretch pre workout because stretching your pre workout kind of uh, ex- increases the size size of your muscle and you kind of lose your elasticity but however in contradiction to it again fitness is, is a field that there are new studies coming up all the time so in contrast to it now it is better that you stretch before it makes sense if you actually think about it so what is supposed to do is not just simply stretching you supposed to go start from rolling try to release all the knots and then stretch so and then stretch so that the knots don't get tighter okay so you start from rolling and then you stretch and then what you do is you do some kind of dynamic warm up so this dynamic warm up will will essentially bring back the muscle fibers to their original position and then you work out and then you do you finish off with your hit cardio and then go home so the reason why we don't stretch later now is because of the fact that if you are stretching a, a muscle that is already warm it's going to 
again stretch and come back to its original position rather than stretching the muscle when it's cold so when you are starting the workout your muscles are supposed to be cold so when you stretch something in in their cold position they tend to uh what to say they tend to hold on to that stretching factor more than if you stretch something than when you stretch something that is warm so that's what's up again guys it's very interesting so i'm learning a lot of things now i'm studying a lot of book i'm i'm studying this book by mike boyle and also uh, i think i'll also buy another book so these things are getting really interesting and i want to really test deep into the training part of it which i've not done so far so my vlogs are going to be really informative from now on i'm going to include some kind of training tip in there and watch out for the squat video coming up soon